Have you ever heard about the top 5 mind-blowing scientific mess-ups that rocked the world in the last 100 years? Get ready for a wild ride because we've got some seriously surprising stories lined up for you. Have you ever heard of the bad blood study on African Americans? It's a pretty sad story about how some folks were treated unfairly in medical research just because of their race. Then there's the radium girls tale. These brave women suffered a lot because of their jobs with radium, showing us the dark side of some scientific practices. And what about those fake breast implants? Can you believe some people got tricked into getting fake stuff put in their bodies? It caused a big uproar, let me tell you. But wait, it gets crazier. Imagine if someone spread lies about vaccines, saying they were bad for you. That's what happened in the fake vaccine claims blunder. It scared a lot of people and made it hard for folks to trust the real science behind vaccines. And last but not least, we've got the wild story of superhumans built by Chinese scientists in labs. Yep, you heard that right. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it happened for real. So, if you're ready to dive into these incredible tales and learn about the ups and downs of science, stick around. We're about to uncover some seriously eye-opening stuff together. Our number 5 pick is, The Pip Breast Implant Scandal. A Tale of Deception. In the early 2000s, a scandal erupted surrounding poly-implant prothes Pip breast implants, sending shockwaves through the medical community and leaving many women feeling betrayed. Pip was a French company that produced silicone breast implants. They were used in thousands of women around the world, promising enhanced confidence and self-esteem. But beneath the surface, trouble was brewing. Reports started to emerge that PIP implants were prone to rupturing and leaking silicone into the body. This raised serious health concerns for women who had undergone breast augmentation surgeries. Many feared the potential health risks associated with silicone leakage, including inflammation, pain, and even an increased risk of cancer. As investigations unfolded, a disturbing truth came to light. PIP had been using industrial-grade silicone, meant for purposes other than medical implants, in their products. They had cut corners to save costs, putting profits above the safety and well-being of their customers. The fallout from the scandal was immense. Thousands of women faced the daunting prospect of having their implants removed or replaced, undergoing additional surgeries and enduring emotional distress. Many felt deceived and betrayed by the very company that had promised to enhance their lives. Governments and regulatory bodies scrambled to respond, implementing stricter regulations and oversight to prevent similar incidents in the future. PIP's founder was arrested and sentenced for fraud, but the damage had already been done. While the PIP scandal caused immense harm and suffering, it also sparked conversations about the regulation of medical devices and the importance of empowering patients to make informed decisions about their health care. Our number 4 pick is, the MMR vaccine scare. Andrew Wakefield's controversial claim. In the late 1990s, a doctor named Andrew Wakefield caused quite a stir with his startling claim about the MMR vaccine. This is the story of how his words sparked fear and uncertainty among parents around the world. Dr. Wakefield suggested that the MMR vaccine, which protects against measles, mumps, and rubella, might be linked to autism a condition that affects how people communicate and interact with others. His study, published in 1998, seemed to support this idea. Parents everywhere were understandably worried. They wanted what was best for their children and didn't want to take any chances. Some chose not to vaccinate their kids with the MMR vaccine, fearing it might harm them. But as time passed, scientists started to question Dr. Wakefield's study. They found flaws in his research and discovered that he hadn't been completely honest about his methods. It turned out that his study wasn't reliable after all. In 2010, the journal that published Dr. Wakefield's study retracted it, meaning they took it back because it wasn't accurate. By then, though, the damage had been done. Many people had already been scared away from getting the MMR vaccine, and some children had gotten sick because they weren't protected. The MMR vaccine scare was a wake-up call. It showed us the importance of trusting scientific evidence and being cautious about where we get our information. Vaccines are crucial for keeping us healthy and preventing the spread of dangerous diseases. Today, we know that the MMR vaccine is safe and effective. Countless studies have shown that it doesn't cause autism or any other serious side effects. Our number three pick is the radiation scare. When everyday products glowed. Once upon a time, 
In the 20th century, people thought radiation was amazing. They believed it could do magical things, like make them healthier or even give them glowing skin. But there was a problem. Some companies started putting radiation in everyday products, like toothpaste and makeup. They thought it would make their products better, but they didn't realize how dangerous it could be. Radiation can hurt your body, causing things like cancer and other serious illnesses. One famous example is radium. Companies used it in all kinds of things, from toothpaste to face cream. People thought it would make them look younger and feel better. But instead, it made them sick. The turning point came with the tragic story of the radium girls, young women who worked in radium watch factories painting luminous dials. They painted watch dials with radium paint, which glowed in the dark. But to make fine lines, they licked their brushes, swallowing tiny bits of radium. It made them very sick, and some of them even died. When people found out about the dangers of radiation, they were scared. Governments made rules to stop companies from putting radiation in products. The radiation scare reminds us to be careful about what we put in our bodies. Even though something might seem cool or magical, it could be harmful. It's important to listen to scientists and make sure the things we use are safe. Our number two pick is the Tuskegee Syphilis Study, a story of betrayal. Once upon a time, in a small town called Tuskegee in Alabama, there was a group of African-American men. They were poor and struggling, trying to make ends meet during a difficult time called the Great Depression. Little did they know, their lives were about to be changed forever by something called the Tuskegee Syphilis Study. In 1932, the government said they wanted to help these men. They offered free medical care, food, and even burial insurance. The men thought it was a chance to get better, so they agreed to be a part of the study. But instead of helping them, the government did something terrible. They didn't give the men the right treatment for a disease called syphilis, even though they had medicine that could help. They just watched as the men got sicker and sicker. Years went by, and the study kept going. Even when doctors found a cure for syphilis called penicillin in the 1940s, they didn't give it to the men in the study. They let them suffer, all in the name of a twisted experiment. Eventually, in 1972, someone spoke up. A man named Peter Buxton, who used to work for the government, told the world about what was happening in Tuskegee. People were shocked and angry when they found out. They couldn't believe that such a thing had happened. After the truth came out, the government said sorry, and they promised to make things right. But the damage was done. The trust between the African American community and the medical system was broken. People were scared and didn't know who to trust anymore. The Tuskegee syphilis study was a dark time in history, a reminder of how power can be abused and how prejudice can hurt people. Our number one pick is about a Chinese scientist and superhuman. Our top pick is a story about a renowned Chinese scientist who created a sensation worldwide through his experiment. He edited human genes in the embryonic stage, turning them into superhumans. This scientist named He Jianghui was an assistant professor in the biology department of the Southern University of Science and Technology in the city of Shenzhen. He altered the genes of twin sisters, Lulu and Nana, even before their birth. He used CRISPR technology to remove their CCR5 gene during the embryonic stage. Deleting this gene gave the twin sisters several superpowers. Firstly, they became resistant to HIV, meaning their chances of getting HIV became nearly zero. Secondly, their brains became much sharper, making them much smarter than an average person. Thirdly, their chances of having a heart attack also became nearly zero. After completing this experiment, when He Jianghui published his research in a journal, scientists from around the world criticized him. He had to face a lot of criticism, with the scientific community deeming his work ethically wrong and a threat to humanity. As a result, the Southern University of Science and Technology fired him from his job, and he went underground. However, the story didn't end there. In December 2019, the police arrested him, and he was sentenced to two years in jail. After serving his sentence, he Jianghui was released in April 2022 and is now leading a normal life. When institutions like MTI attempted to interview him, he mentioned that it's not the right time to make any comments. As soon as there are any new updates, we will share them with you. That wraps up our discussion on scientific blunders, but before you go, make sure not to miss our story on AI robots creating medicines that cures only your diseases. These medicines are personalized for you based on your DNA. 
Please like, share and subscribe.